All right, guys, Rich here from the RC Network, and this is going to be a quick little unboxing of a Max Amps battery. Uh, I have done one other Max Amps unboxing before. It was for a two cell 6500 milliamp race edition battery. Uh, that would be a 150C burst rate battery. Uh, this battery is very similar to that. However, this is a larger battery. This is going to be a 4S LiPo battery. Um, all in all, I'm, I'm very, very pleased with my 2S version of this battery. I have been running it probably about 30 uh, times now and just very pleased with not only the amount of power I get from the battery, but also the runtime. 6500 milliamp is one of the largest capacity batteries that I own, and I just really like the amount of runtime that I get on that battery. So this one's very similar. This is going to be a 4S LiPo, so 14.8 volt, and it is a 6500 milliamp battery. Same spec, also a 150C burst, so it is a 75C constant battery. So let's go ahead and unbox this thing. Let's see what you get inside the box, and I will also go over some other things uh, regarding this particular battery that I ordered. So this is the sheet I got with it, and what's really cool about Max Amps, and I think I said this in the previous video, is this isn't a warehouse where someone just pulls an order, throws it in a box, and ships it to you. Max Amps actually makes the batteries when you order it. It's kind of like going to a restaurant and they actually make the food after you've ordered it, and not like you know they have 26 burgers on a lineup and just throw one in your bag. So you see my order number right there, kind of point along here. Um, I just can't believe how many people looked at my battery before it got shipped. So you got a guy named Nate here. He did the pack construction and build station. Uh, RB, he also did the battery balance check and the water sealing. A guy named Ryan finished wrapped my, my case and then did the pre-ship voltage check. And then a JM did the final order audit. He made sure everything was right. I and mean, that's like four people right there that looked at my battery before it went out their door, which I definitely respect. You don't see that kind of service anymore, and that's just cool. So anyways, that is my little thing right here with this particular battery. Let's go ahead and unbox this thing. Let's see what you get inside the box. So all in all, you know, once again, a great, great, great packaging here. Uh, whoever thought of the, the crisscross chain holding in on the... Uh, I don't know, very kind of medieval, and then the, the lock here with the Max Amps logo, so pretty cool and all. So inside, of course, LiPo battery, here's the public service announcement from the RC Network. Please make sure you know what you're doing. Read, ask questions, talk to guys that are using LiPos so that you don't have that picture right there, that fiery explosion of an actual LiPo battery. So they're dangerous, but if you use them properly, they can have lots of fun <laughs> packed into them. So once again, you get the warning. You also get a kind of like a, a notice here of you know how to do things and LiPo cut off and all sorts of things. So nice that they're including that, that they're not expecting you to know what you're doing because not everyone does. So inside you got the, 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 the vault here that it's contained in, which is nice. I mean, that, that's plenty of protection, especially for shipping. So let's go ahead and pull this thing out of here. God, this thing is huge. So there it is. There's the Max Amps battery. Another cool thing that they just do for you, um, they let you choose what color you want your wrap. So you can pick whatever flame job you want. I picked the blue. That's just what the other color of my other one is. Just made sense to me. Color blind and all. There you go. Um, JST plug, you can choose what kind of plug you want. I also chose a Dean's plug. You can also choose what kind of plug you want. Like I said, they're making these things to order, so it doesn't take too long to go ahead and solder in whatever connector you want. Um, they are using official Dean's 12 gauge ultra wire, so you know, no expense is spared here on this particular battery. If I can get the Dean's logo to show up here. And there we go, there's Dean's 12 gauge ultra wire. So uh, another cool feature here, they're putting like a, a liquid um, electrical tape around here just to keep the dust and debris 
out of your battery because after all that's what kind of starts to break down the cells. Now this is a hard case pack so keep that in mind as well. They do offer some soft case packs and there's the official ROAR approved logo so you can use these in a ROAR sanctioned event, a ROAR race. And then let's see the flip size here. Once again the caution of you know not handling these things properly. Um, never charge when unattended. I always charge my batteries when I'm standing here. So all in all, really happy with this. I have not only a new 8 scale buggy here at the RC Network, but I have another project coming up. So please stay tuned. This battery will definitely be featured in that other new project. So uh, that's it. I will definitely get back to you guys on what I think of this battery after I run it. Um, probably run it, you know, five, ten times and see where we stand. So that's it for now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about this battery or for that matter, anything else about the RC network, please post it on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now, guys. Over and out.